What appears to be an act of road rage has taken the life of Daniel Woodlow Sr., marketing manager for Knight Enterprises. According to the first response team, Woodlow had been badly beaten and strangled. We will have more for you as information comes down. 3 News, Kerry Carr. Fiance's in big trouble. I'll be no. right with you. No, 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 wait, wait. No! I was no! trying to tell you. It was going to no! come down to this. No, no, no. Now you got about this him. much time. No! Won't you please out? No, no. <laughs> Why'd you do this? I was going to help you. Well, it's too late for that now. Huh. <laughs> if she dies. She dies because the choice you made. Oh so I'm thinking, if she does die, you killed her. You killed her. You killed her, man. You're crazy. Not me. You. Please remove your hat in my office. You got your hat on? Yeah, because my head is cold. Just take the fucking hat off. Okay. It's always busy around here. Oh, yeah. And that would be because motherfuckers are always fucking up. Have a seat, Mr. Knight. Uh, no thank you. Suit yourself. So you would have me believe, um... What? Hmm? That this twin of yours, um, named Twin, would kill your fiance and your employee, Mr. Woodlow. All because doesn't like you? Oh boy. <clears throat> hmm? Look. He wanted to, uh, brought some money, and, uh, I didn't give it to him. Mm -hmm. So he killed everybody. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Well, 
That makes sense. I mean, people do some really fucked up things for money. What now? Why didn't you give him the money? Why? Why? Why should I give him the money? You tell me why. I should give him fucking the money. Fucking jerk. Cause you're his brother, you fucking asshole. That's why. Well? You're one of two things here. Oh boy. You're either a damn good liar. Hmm. Shit. Or you're fucking crazy. Crazy? Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. Since I wanted to get Mr. Knight. Okay. We're gonna keep him here for a oh, few no. minutes. I'm not okay. staying here. Question. Alright. See what he's up to. I'll be right down. Listen. Listen, Detective Brown. Listen. Are you listening? Uh, I'm all ears, Mr. Knight. Carry on. Okay. This crazy bastard popped into our lives. I believe he's been watching us. And, um, look, I didn't even know I had a twin brother. We were separated as kids. I went one place, he went to another. And he just got screwed up. He went crazy. And he feels that I owe him something. Because I'm where I'm at now, and he's where he's at. And where he's at is not a good place. I believe he broke in my house and hit me over the head. It's funny, because nothing was missing from the house. Just, I woke up. <laughs> And he was standing over. Or somebody was. Man, how could I expect anyone to believe this story? I wouldn't believe it myself. But it's true. And, um, he's real. He's very real. And I'm sure you'll find out in time. Just how real he is. Hello? Ah, Ben, Ben. Can't you just run the company, man? Huh? Boy? I got you the job. Said you could do it. So just fucking do it, okay? Damn, man, you know something? Uh, huh. I think I fell asleep. I did. I did. Shit, no wonder you're calling. Man, I think I fell asleep in the car. Yeah. 
Oh, I had a hell of a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what's your problem? Coffee. Is this coffee time for me? Man, I'm just trying to get it together. Hmm? Nothing. I thought I heard something. Yes, you know, when you stay up all night partying and you see shit on the road and you're driving back, you're all delirious. Kind of like that. Kind of fucked up. Give me a call later. Gotta have more coffee. And we'll go from there. Bye. Oh boy, come on, coffee. Mr. Knight, it slipped my mind. But uh, when my team went to your house, the only DNA they found was yours and your fiancé's. Sweet incense. No other DNA, which means every arrow points to you. Ah, uh, yeah. Burn, baby, burn. You, Mr. Knight. Only you. Damn good liar or crazy. Remember that? Now, if you're number one, you're gonna spend time in the pen. Definitely lie. Now, it's two, we're gonna give you to the county asylum. Let them look after you. Either way, doesn't look good for you, Mr. Knight. Oh, I never really wanted to hurt you, boy. But you brought you just on your, your, your fucking self. self. Somebody's arm, you can't do this shit. You don't see him yet, but you'll see him, motherfucker. He'll take your fucking soul straight to motherfucking hell. I know my soul's in hell already, and yours is going, motherfucker. Agreement. 
Missy or something like that. Don't know a Missy. Listen, I don't know the name, but we made an agreement. An agreement to pay? When? Monday. That's in three days. Three days. Look out the window, Mr. Knight. What you mean? <laughs> Look out the window. Hmm. That's what happens when you don't pay your bills. Oh. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to make any money to do anything? Fuck you! No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Wait a minute. Fuck! Well, Mr. Knight, he's your guy and something's gotta be done. Well, I'll be there to talk to him myself tomorrow. Don't you worry about it. When? Boy, don't let me down. You gotta help me, man. Well, he's messing up the program. Yeah, fucking heads are gonna roll. He's messing things up. <sighs> Please. But what I think yeah, is tonight. Whatever, I gotta take this call. What? A call? Hello? Hello? Hey, Boyan. It's Twin. And I ain't doing so good, man. What's wrong with you? Man, they just reported my car. Twin, I thought. Boyan, you know. You know, you know I lost my job. Shit, man. You know I lost my job, man. Unbe-fucking-leavable.